ladies and gentlemen. Johnson & Johnson had a major mix-up at one of its plants, and an ingredient got mixed in according to what they're telling. And we know they don't tell the truth about anything. We already know that. And the vaccines, 15 million of them, are all screwed up now. <laughs> Like I said, everything surrounding this vaccine is just bad news. I mean, let's be real. Ever since they brought this thing out, it, it has been just one bad thing after the next. And this is what you can expect. Now, Johnson & Johnson is, of course, trying to fix this after a mishap at their plant. And by the way, the, the plant is in New Jersey, just to let you know. <laughs> Ooh, man, 15 million vaccine doses ruined, ruined. Mm -mm -mm. So the man, you, this person with the red skin, he got the Johnson & Johnson jab. His name is Richard Tyrell, and he's from Virginia. And he broke out all red on his body. And as you can see, after this, it really is a chemical rash from the vaccine. He's now peeling. And Johnson and Johnson and Johnson's response is, this is a rare occurrence. You know how they don't take responsibility for nothing. All the people that died, all the people that got sick. Oh, no, it's not the vaccine. It's not the vaccine. No, no, no. And we know exactly what it is, y'all. I mean, this is just, this is hilarious. There is not one of these vaccines that have been out where it's not a string of bad occurrences going on with them. So the maker of Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine doses ruined by mistake. So this is the Washington Post, March 31st, 2021. Future shipments of Johnson & Johnson coronavirus has been halted in the U.S. after a mistake at the manufacturing plant ruined 15 million doses and raised questions about quality control, according to a report on Wednesday. The workers at Emergent, Biosolution Baltimore plant. And, you know, they had problems in the plant in New Jersey too, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Baltimore plant mix up the ingredients for J&J &J single dose vaccine and another COVID inoculation being produced there several weeks ago, the New York Times reported the era doesn't affect the J&J &J doses currently being delivered and used nationwide. Uh-huh. Just look at Richard here. Does it look like it didn't do anything? Hmm. No, I'm just saying. Okay. And... All right, so it says the error doesn't affect the J&J &J doses currently being delivered and used nationwide as those were produced in the Netherlands, the report said. Y'all had problems with the doses in the Netherlands too? Ooh, ooh, that's bad. However, it has caused tens of million doses that were to come from the Baltimore factory and were to be delivered within the next month to be put into question according to Times. Mm -hmm. The Food and Drug Administration in investigating the mix-up, which the federal officials have attributed to human error, the report said. Meanwhile, J&J &J is said to be taking steps to tighten its control over the emergent biosolution work to avoid future lapses in quality. The biopharmaceutical company, is a manufacturing partner of both J&J &J and AstraZeneca. Now, remember, AstraZeneca was causing blood clots. Batting a thousand, aren't they? 
federal officials still expect to have enough doses to meet President Biden's goal of having enough vaccine for every U.S. adult by the end of May. And y'all, they have not met these deadlines very well either. And, and if you remember the first time around, they even lied about how many doses they actually had, fudging the numbers. You know, that's a very American thing, fudging numbers. It is. Uh, the two other vaccines approved by the feds from Pfizer and Moderna are continuing to be delivered as expected. So, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter if you get one or two jabs. Both of them can be a problem, according to Richard Tyrell here in the picture. So, y'all, tell me what you think about this big 15 million Vials of mix-up from Johnson & Johnson. Mm -mm -mm. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.